earn almost half the PhDs awarded in this country, but they account for only 12% of patent inventions. That's according to the latest statistics from the U.S. Patent Office. Here's how some are working to change those numbers. She's really caring, sweet, and she's a good person. Gabriella and Daniela Torres are the best of friends. Help each other's homework, tell each other's secrets, hanging out. Gabriella is very protective of her big sis, who was diagnosed with hearing loss when she was just six. I gotta be protective to, like, to make sure no one hurts her. Daniela now hears with a cochlear implant, but continuing to make life better for her sister is what motivated Gabriella to become an inventor. I knew she always had to get woken up by my mom every morning to go to school. So I was like, that's why I made the vibro blanket. With her vibrating blanket alarm clock, Gabriella won an international inventors competition by Metal USA. Getting young girls interested in inventing is the first step to changing the dynamics in this male dominated field. The U.S. Patent Office says that females face more difficulty securing funding and have a lack of social network that is critical for financing. Other barriers women face, gender and racial biases in degree choices, hiring practices, work evaluation, and promotion. These are the Smart Glasses 3000, super cool captioning glasses for deaf people. At just 10 years old, Genevieve Myers is determined to change the field. I did these like um, glasses that caption um, when somebody speaks. Genevieve gained international recognition for her idea. I just kind of like grew up thinking like everybody should be included. Oh, that makes you feel good. Research shows that if the number of female inventors increases at the same rate as the last 40 years, it will take until the year 2198 to achieve an equal proportion of female and male patent holders. All right, let's turn it to you and